Yeah, was I'm really surprised he doesn't play Wii Fit. Yeah, uh, I think what he'd said coming into the game was that he wanted to play someone who he felt uh, he could go up against anybody with, and he felt that Wii Fit was still lacking, but he yep. still plays. Him. So yeah, definitely a good counter pick. A lot of people don't understand that matchup, but uh, he's rocking Inkling now. Uh, Greninja and Inkling, two characters who everyone is upset <laughs> with, <laughs> gets very frustrated with because they shrink their hurt box so easily. Absolutely. It's almost impossible to hit these two. Um, so I'd like to see how this uh, this set is gonna go. It's interesting. Um, is the gun for Inkling is that a disjoint or is that part of the hurt box? Um, that's a, that's a good question. I I think it's a disjoint right. or on the back air. I believe it's a disjoint. Um, so these two are both kind of in your face heavy. You know, uh, Greninja has a lot of confirms off of close aerial mm. moves, off of down tilt, dash attack, things like that. And Inkling loves that nair, loves to do the up close jabs, all that sort of stuff. But they both function well at a range. Yeah. So this is the kind of matchup where no matter where they're up on the screen, they'll just be all over the place. They'll yeah. be running around. They're doing stuff. There is no dull moment where they're waiting. And he takes Absolutely. the first stock within a minute yeah. to show for it. Some which is which is a surprise. Usually John is playing a slower game, but Inkling gives him that uh, gives him that ability with Roller. He's he's very elusive with his Roller, very tricky. So um, if you're not paying attention, if you're not uh, looking out for it, he will catch you with Roller, and he will confirm with it. Absolutely. He's got the tricky bomb setup like that. too. As he managed to catch him with Roller. He almost did the full length of the stage and still got him with the Roller. That was a good catch. I think that's the first time I've ever seen anyone catch Inkling's up B. Legitimately. Yeah, like, definitely hard. Roller. Wow, nice. and that almost killed me. And even Roller, it did catch the nerf. Hitbox shrunk a little bit back, but it's still a very formidable move. Excellent recovery move. It keeps you on edge on neutral at all times because that's just... You, you'll know it's a confirm. You yeah. will know I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> this, this is my stock. I got to fixate on the next one. Ooh, good Ooh. challenge, though. And you Calls see, him out on it. John kind of just does these... Uh, they look random, but... He, he does them in situations where uh, you feel comfortable, where you think you're in, uh, like, complete advantage or he's resetting the neutral. He'll just throw out the roller. And because you can jump cancel it and because you don't have to be locked into it for too long with the speed that it moves at, it's actually fairly low committal yeah. depending on where you are and where your opponent's at. Mm -hmm. So him throwing it out with the reward that it gets you, especially at a percent like this, is completely understandable. But Venue with the good conversions. I'm surprised it didn't combo there. Yeah. That's a really awkward place to be getting down tilt on that ledge. Mm -hmm. And this platform, uh, I don't know if it's helping uh, him get back to the stage or, or not. Venue seems to have a good coverage of it regardless of whether or not uh, John uses it. That's a good fair to come back on stage. Miss spaces the nair but doesn't eat a punish for it. That was yeah. a very not good spot. Yeah, that nair definitely pre uh, hard to punish. Oh, going to take that back here. Nice job. Yeah. And he's at a... <laughs> down tilt gonna do it. Down tilt at the ledge with Inkling's really good. Let really me just break dancing spot. You wanna hang down there? That's just fine. I'll get my I got spin moves. off. Okay, just trying to make it back to the stage. Stage control shifting between these two. Uh John number sitting uh ahead, but I was just okay. This is right good, to say guys. this is still anybody's game. Although John has uh has the stock lead, he's in disadvantage. He can lose the stock now and it becomes super even. There you go. You covered wow. Okay. Excellent DI, good job. Now. Yeah, I'm doing a good job of surviving, and that's what you want to do at this percent. All you need to do is put on some extra credit, 7%. Uh, 7%, 7% closer yeah. to a death. Exactly. You know what I mean? He's working at it. That was a really good pivot grab there to bait him out. Inkling's dash dance, like you mentioned before, low profile, uh -huh. very fast, very hard to yeah. keep Inkling down mm -hmm. because of it. So going for pivot grabs like that is an excellent call, especially if you're trying to abate your opponent. Yep. So when, he, when Inkling is in the ground like that, that hurt box is extremely small. If you don't have a down tilt like Lucina, Marth, um, those characters, it gets pretty tough to hit that. Because you're not grabbing it. Uh, your jab may not even touch it. <laughs> Absolutely. And Kay. then... Ooh, okay. Interesting call on the uh, shadow counter, but doesn't quite get into anything. Good call out on the roller. Oh, he's not going to do it. He kind of just... Uh, he, he picked up some momentum at the end of that stock. Put on some damage and punish him for it. Nice job by Venya. Yeah, man, just did it. Mm -hmm. That was probably the most committal because he was doing a lot of the fast fall bear. He was doing the down tilts at the ledge. That was just a call out. Yeah. I dare you to jump up past mm -hmm. this ledge. Come on. Yeah, and he was just uh, he was just covering space. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. I don't even know if that was a read because uh, John di hasn't done that. He he hasn't like jumped onto the stage straight from uh, disadvantage. He usually grabs it and then maybe rollers. So he was just covering area. 
and uh, it worked out for him. Pays out, absolutely. And then the F Smash, that doesn't have too bad a recovery either, if I remember right. It's pretty, it's not, I don't think it's Wolf F Smash recovery level, but it's still good enough that you can throw that out and go for the edge guard anyway. So smart call by him to cover the space. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now you see uh, Venya playing um, a little bit faster than, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of Venya sets, so I, I know when his speed is changing and whatnot. This match, it seems like he's playing a little bit faster. He's playing a little bit closer to John, um, which, which is a sign of comfortability. That's not a good sign for John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to make it work, especially with, I think, in a flat-out brawl at the same range, if they have the same desires and wants in the neutral, Greninja will win, just because yeah. the disjoints that he has are more generous, more favorable to him, and I think his conversions are a bit better. Mm -hmm. Inkling still... For as strong as their kit is, they can sometimes have a hard time getting that kill. Whereas yeah. Greninja, not a problem. Ooh, nice. Down that, tilt four there. Yeah, down tilt, which looks just like um, <laughs> uh, dash attack. Or maybe, maybe, really it, maybe, it was, maybe it was. It was one of them. It doesn't matter. They both do the same thing, serve the sale. Somewhat of the same purpose for Greninja. Really good moves. That was incredibly good patience by numbers there. Not baiting into Venya because he knows Venya mm. wants to tack up that extra percent on him. Now, that's, that's something else that a lot of people don't know. Roller has very, very little priority. Yes. Like, you can throw out a move and completely, like, clink with Roller. Like, just about anything will clink with Roller. Um, but it, it's just such a such a good move if they hit, if you get hit, that um, the risk is worth it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people just get scared. Like, let me get out of here as soon as I can. <laughs> it is. And uh, someone like Corrin from Smash 4 especially, a lot of low priority on the moves, which in theory makes the move challengeable. But when you see a roller, a lot of people's instinct is just to get out yeah, of the way. let me get let out me of here. Let me shield that. Let me get out of this pressure. And that's understandable. It's a mm -hmm. scary move to get hit by. It's yep. a scary move to see come out. And that in entails the fear of the move makes the move that much more safe. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, good trade on the fair there. That's what I was talking about right there, is that even if he goes for the trades, mm, that was a weird mm -hmm. to be. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was definitely weird. He wanted a stronger hit of that Nair, but uh, couldn't take the damage from it. 91% sin on John, just trying to make it back to the middle of the stage, but it seems like Venya's all over him right now. Mm -hmm. He's making the big calls there. Like that dare, that didn't come mm. without some risk there. He knew. He was comfortable doing that. John, with, there, with the tech. John with is, the tech. was always great oh at tech, God. but not that one. <laughs> not that tech, just Look, as we're talking about John. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to implant Inkling's face into the side of the stage. You're going to be a part of that paint job. Get off this Absolutely. Blesso. Get him out of here. Okay, here we go. John just trying to find his footing, and you see Venya slowed down the pace of this match. Early on, you've seen him put on a lot of pressure. He's able to take the lead, but now, uh, subtly, he's forcing John to come to him. He's uh, really controlling the pace that way. And see, like you say, though, John normally plays patient, and it shows. He is willing, even in disadvantage here, to play patient, not mm -hmm. commit so much. He's doing a lot of jump back, a lot of baiting in, and Venya will come in there like, oh, I've got a little bit of a percent. What does it matter if I go for a conversion? And then he'll eat a grab, he'll eat a nair, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. And that's the sort of thing that John will capitalize on and come back with. Yeah. But if they keep trading like that, it's... That was I'm really not mad at that. <laughs> that is That was such a good option. You you have to respect mm -hmm. it. You Anybody else would have immediately... The only reason why John didn't get caught with that is because because he knows Venya. That was player-to-player -player, uh, <laughs> interaction. That wasn't character interaction. Yeah, he knew the uh, numbers matchup. He mm -hmm. was ready. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He knew the Venya matchup. Yeah. He was ready for it. A lot of players would have immediately upbeat and got caught with that down there. Man. Okay, now this is a good job from Venya. As he, he sees numbers dashing towards him, and a lot of people like to stay in shield or roll, he's jumping so he can't get hit by roller oh, as he gets hit by roller. <laughs> <laughs> he's jumping so he can't get hit by roller, and... Um, forcing John to uh, approach through the air. See, the thing is, is that depending on your character, meeting Inkling in the air is not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. uh, Fair and Nair have good hitboxes, but if you get a roller, you can land on top of that, catch him when they're trying to jump cancel it because they'll pretty much always jump cancel it. Mm -hmm. Down to Not going to kill. Not, not yet. This is scary, though. Absolutely. Um, Johnson on his winner's bracket stock right now. It's, it's how do you approach him? How do you put on this damage to take this stock? See... If Venya takes this real patiently, he had that for a while there. If he just waits it out and lets John come to him, John has an uphill battle here because of Greninja's distance. This yeah. is going to be hard for him to do. So Venya playing back. He's doing it patiently. He doesn't have to look for the kill just yet. He's got two minutes on the clock. He's got over 100% as a lead. Ooh, okay. Calls him out with that landing. That was scary. Oh, John no, owns that no, full no, no, race. No. Are you dead? No, no. he's not dead. He's not like dead. like a sour spot to that forward smash anyways. I think there is, yeah. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. He said we've got an extended contract out here for this paint job. <laughs> Let me stay. You think I'm going to jump cancel this? You think that I'm afraid of the punish? That was crazy. John didn't do that all set. So he did it once, and then Venya, that... in this game, you cannot go through people. So once he shielded it, he thought that he was going to cross him up with it. So he turned around and dashed, got stuck in the animation, and when the hitbox reactivated, he was right in prime position that was, to get rolled. That was such a call out on his mental state right there. Mm -hmm. That was like, do you have the temperament? Do you have the patience to see I'm still in rolling? Uh -huh. You have to respect this somewhere. And yep, he, he did not to react to it. On it. It's a shame, but that was an excellent call from members. That was just the right amount of risk. So we got a game three. Now you see Venya playing that game again. Let me tack on this damage. Uh, let's see how, how you're going to deal with it. And then that's the thing. Venya keeping on, his, keeping on him right now, getting the punish getting the lead mm -hmm. because even if he can out slug numbers and inkling in the neutral ink is gonna hurt yeah ink is a really bad thing to hit in a string so you don't want to give inkling when you're on the same stock mm -hmm. a percentage lead because they'll sit on it yeah for a while and you see uh venya uh teching that situation a lot of uh, people will tell you don't tech if inkling is, is doing roller but you can also tech in if you uh if you if you see the roller um if you see them activating roller early you can just tech in most of the time, you'll roll right past it, or but you will, still won't get buried. I've got you. And then if you uh, you don't tech and you're grounded, it pops you up, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you cannot get buried if you are still on the ground. Yeah, that's a stop. Very bread and butter by the book, confirmed from John. Mm -hmm. Very good call. Now, let's see how Venya deals with this, because I would say he's been playing sort of from an advantage for most of the set, but now that he's behind, he's going to have to try to go for the patient approaches here, and he's eating these rollers. Yeah, and, now, and you can see a lot of pain on Venya right now. That means Venya's taking a lot more damage. The bonus damage, and John's still playing it patient, but putting out his offense only when he really needs mm -hmm. to. This he is in no hurry to wreck that percent up. Good down tilt there. Is that safe on shield, the down tilt? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think no, so. No, I actually uh, played Inkling at launch um, and kind of dropped the character. But down tilt is a really, really good move. If you're not quick on the punish, uh, he, uh, Inkling immediately gets the jab. Uh, nice call out. out. Yep. yep. He's been doing that uh, all game, and it's a very safe option, very rewarding option if he gets it at these sorts of percents. But he yeah. still needs to come back for the percent on this stock. It's still definitely a numbers favor at the moment. If any keeping him off stage, let's we'll see if he can get a good conversion from this edge guard. Now, you see, there's usually two different types of Inklings. There's the Inklings who like to press a lot of buttons <laughs> because Inklings has great uh, great buttons. Yes. And then there's the setup-oriented Inkling. John seems to be doing a great job of mixing between the two of them. Absolutely. And it's a shame because they're almost cohesive with each other and that it would be natural to go between both easily. But it definitely takes a state of mind to be like, I'm going to go for a setup here. I'm going to be uh, neutrally focused. Because yeah. a wrong ink bomb, a wrong roller, any of that sort of thing, like the blaster, John doesn't go for it very often, but it's always in a very low risk sort of place where you can just tack yeah. on ink. If you do that in the wrong space, you will eat a big punish, yep. especially against someone with a lot of power like Greninja has. Paul baits him out and goes to Look the at jet. that. The FAF on that down tilt is great for John. He, he, he down tilts the ledge trying to catch a two frame, does it again to just pressure the space, and then immediately starts jabbing because he can. And then that's a scary place to be if he wants to try to approach on Inkling's dash dance. Gets him with the fast fall. I think that was fair. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a fair on uh, Venya's up air, which is very risky. He's it? like that. Held Ink a little too long with the blaster and nearly cut a kill. Mm -hmm. Now, now that ink could absolutely catch you, uh, catch you off guard. If you if you uh, read your jump or some kind of just dash op option in, you take damage coming in, and then you get a lot of pain on you for future damage. Yeah, John really playing back right now. He's not really committing to too many offensive options. A couple defensive ones, but ooh, clean yep. confirmed. Venya also does a really good job of mixing it up. Whether he's gonna wait for the air dodge or uh, kind of just go outright with the. Um, with the fair. And it's really hard to react to it. You kind of got to just guess. It gets the sour spot up. I don't think I've ever seen that drop, but I don't see a lot of Greninja's go for that at lower percent, so that makes sense. Okay. Yep. Back here, going to put him, him off up. stage. Putting the pressure on. Air dodges into the platform, but doesn't get the punish. Okay, numbers in uh, having stage control. That trade going to keep him in stage control, but Venya going to turn the tables right now. 
he definitely does not want to give Venya uh, the ledge at this point. If he yeah. gives him the pressure, he's been eating a lot of percent on that, trying to get back on stage against him. I was waiting for the back throw. Back throw, here we go. Now they're just, gonna, now they're just slugging it out. Tri tri that, that was great. That was a great call, but that was a ballsy call. Yeah. He was feeling it. Definitely. Did, now, did he miss the tech, or did he just catch the tech with the down smash? I think, uh, yeah, so he did catch the tech. Mm -hmm. He was waiting. That covers uh, the neutral tech, the missed tech, uh -huh. and back tech. So he had to know, go yeah. away, which. He had one option. 